Nature is indeed full of surprises. In the blink of an eye, its power can show us how small we are in this world. And I'm not just talking about natural disasters, no. I'm also talking about mind-blowing destinations that really prove that the world around us is unpredictable, and we can always find something new in it. In today's video, we're going to be looking at 15 sunny examples of nature's power. Our first entry is Destructive Floods. A bit of rain is always good. But when it starts to pour and it doesn't seem to stop, it can be pretty bad for us. Though lucky for us, none of us have had to live through the Yangtze River floods in 1931 China. The central part of the country went through one of the deadliest natural disasters in history after the July rain caused the Yangtze River to overflow its banks. The flood covered around 70,000 square miles, affecting the nation greatly. The government says there were around 2 million people who lost their lives through this awful event. But other sources say it may have been way more than that. Honestly, all I know is that whatever rain we've experienced in our lives is nothing compared to this. Our next entry is a powerful typhoon. Cyclones, hurricanes, and typhoons are indeed some of the most stunning examples of nature's power. However, there are different categories, and some of them can be more powerful than others. In 1881, the port city of Haiphong in Vietnam got hit by the Karinga Cyclone, one of the most powerful and deadliest natural disasters of its time so bad that it took the lives of at least 300,000 people. Our next entry is the Giant's Causeway. Some say these 40,000 steps were built by a giant, hence its name. Others say it was built by a lost Iron Age civilization. But the reality is that the Giant's Causeway is the product of a volcanic eruption that happened a long time ago. Today it is considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and while we all know the truth regarding the origins of this place, Irish folklore still insists that these natural wonders were made by their mythological hero, Finn McCool. As I look at these steps, I'd just like to remember that not every natural disaster ends up in tragedy, which is pretty nice to think of. It's pretty crazy to think that this unique destination came from an eruption, though. Our next entry is Mudadu Island. Let's look at a picture of the Maldives and you'll know right away why I think this is one of the most beautiful places on Earth. The islands alone are solid proof that nature is stunning and full of beautiful things. But if you go to Mudadu Island, you'll get to experience one of the most unique sights on Earth. During the night, bioluminescent phytoplankton in the water produce their own light. This makes the ocean and the sand glow in the dark. Forget about those neon lights in the cities or those glow-in-the-dark posters you have in your room. They got nothing on the power of these plankton. Our next entry is a historical cyclone. According to scientists, the Karinga Cyclone made its landfall in the city of Karinga, India on November 25th, 1839. I know, that was a very long time ago, but the records show that this catastrophic event produced a storm surge of 12 meters high. It's hard to know the category of this storm or the velocity of the wind, but again, it's known that at least 300,000 people died and more than 20,000 ships and boats were destroyed. So, it really wasn't a regular storm like I've said before. It was indeed a chaotic one. Our next entry is Salar de Uyuni. These amazing salt flats are one of Bolivia's natural wonders. You ever go there, this is a place you can't miss. And as soon as you step into this dreamlike location, you'll realize that the floor looks like a huge mirror. It's no wonder people get awesome pictures whenever they go there. These flats are the result of some evaporated lakes that date back to the prehistoric age. And when the nearby lake floods, this place turns into a mirrored surface that will make it feel as if you're walking on an infinite piece of dreamland. However, this space is more than just an Instagrammable spot. The flats are also an important supply of salt and lithium, two valuable elements that sustain the local economy. Our next entry is mind-blowing mountain peaks. There are many mountains around the world. And if you live in a mountainous country, then you've probably seen a couple of mountains or hills with pretty cool-looking shapes. One of the most outstanding mountain peaks are in the Italian Dolomites. In this place, you can find three towering peaks that host thousands of tourists from all over the world every year. The place is popular for skiing, base jumping, and plenty of other extreme sports. But you can also just go there to admire the beauty and uniqueness of these mountains. Our next entry is the Mountain of Seven Colors. South America is full of natural wonders, but one of the most outstanding ones is the Mountain of Seven Colors. Its name can give you an idea of what to expect when you come to this place. It is indeed painted in lots of colors, which are the result of straighted mineral deposits. It is obviously a tourist destination, but believe it or not, the place was discovered only quite recently in 2015. This was after the snow around it melted and uncovered the colorful sights. Our next entry is Canyo Cristals. 
South America is also home to a place that many people consider as the most beautiful river in the world, and its name is Caño Cristales, and it's in Colombia's La Macarena's National Park. The spot became famous thanks to its stunning colors, including shades of crimson red that are very unique compared to the white and blue river colors that we're all used to. But the color of this river can be explained with science. It's said that its colors come from one special form of algae, and that's why it's best to visit this park between July and October, because that's when the algae blooms and the water gets its unique color. Our next entry is Lake Hillier. Here's another body of water that also has a very strange color. It is Lake Hillier in Australia, and yes, I know we've talked about this lake many times, but we're also repeating a few in this list. If you remember our previous videos, you'll know that this lake is actually swimmable, even though it looks as if someone came and poured a huge jar of Pepto-Bismol in it. Even though visitors say it's not as cool as it looks in the pictures, the deep pink hue of this lake is still striking. And just like any other lake with strange colors, this one also has a scientific explanation. Its pink colors come from the algae and bacteria. This place is also full of salt, which will make you float. It is indeed one of the most random places in the world. Our next entry is the Marble Cathedral. If you take a peek at this place from afar, this place isn't going to seem that outstanding. But if you take a boat and venture into these caves, you'll understand why it's called the Marble Cathedral. Believe it or not, this cathedral is not man-made. It is undoubtedly a natural work of art produced by erosion for more than 6,000 years. This was done by the waves crashing against the rocks. These rocks have different colors depending on the time of the year, but it doesn't matter which month you go, you'll still be amazed by their beauty, and you won't believe they were naturally formed. Our next entry is a devastating earthquake. The lack of earthquake experience and being one of the less developed countries in the Western Hemisphere made Haiti vulnerable when an earthquake hit it in 2010. The earthquake impacted the lives of more than 3 million people, and there are around 250,000 who lost their lives. I will mention, though, that number is quite debatable. In fact, up until today, sources can't agree on the number of people who were affected by this huge event. The one thing we all know is that the earthquake was devastating, and it took them a long time to recover from it. It was, without a doubt, one of the most destructive earthquakes of not only in the country, but of the entire century. Our next entry is the Great Bola Cyclone. Back in 1970, when Bangladesh was still considered East Pakistan, this Asian nation was hit by a tropical storm which came to be known as the Great Bola Cyclone. The strong winds reached a speed of 130 miles per hour, which would be considered a Category 4 hurricane. Before the storm made its landfall, it caused floods by pouring over the islands around the Bay of Bengal. The worst part about all this is that people were not able to evacuate, and the death toll was close to half a million people. As of today, the Great Bola Cyclone is still considered the deadliest tropical cyclone in history, bar none. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Now, the picture I chose for today shows an event that is probably the ultimate example of nature's power. It is a tsunami. There have been quite a few of these throughout human history, but one of the worst tsunamis happened less than 20 years ago in the Indian Ocean. Let's check it out, though. That said, the 2004 Indian Ocean Earthquake and Tsunami. It was the morning of December 26, 2004. It should have been a good day after Christmas, but a disastrous earthquake happened off the coast of Indonesia. It had a 9.1 magnitude, and it happened under sea, which automatically triggered a tsunami that would take the lives of more than 230,000 people in Southeast Asia. Even though the tsunami did happen off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia, it did affect regions of South Asia and even some East African countries. The tsunami wave traveled at a speed of 500 miles per hour, giving people little time to escape to a safe space. One of the local humanitarian aid groups claimed that the tsunami wave was 30 meters high in some areas. Mind you, that's 7 meters higher than the highest wave ever surfed. No one was ready for this type of impact, and it took many years for the countries in the region to recover. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our very last entry for the day, folks, is the Boiling Lake. At the top of the list, we have a destination that is equally as amazing as it is terrifying. It's a place that you may want to see, but you'll definitely want to keep your distance from. It's a boiling lake in the island nation of Dominica. Dominica is known for its natural beauty, including many hot springs and a lot of rainforests. While all these things sound amazing, the boiling lake might be the least favorite attraction here. Actually, though, it's also not a lake. It's called a fumarole, and it's flooded, and it belongs to the Moore Pittens National Park. What's a fumarole, though? 
Well, fumaroles are these holes in the surface of the Earth that allow volcanic gases and steam to come out. And underneath this fumarole, there is a lot of flowing magma, which is what makes the water reach its boiling temperatures. Now, I'm sure we can definitely agree that the power of nature has been kind enough to allow us to enjoy hot springs and other spaces of hot water, but this boiling lake is probably that one gift we don't want to receive. Yeah, no thanks, I'll stick to regular temperature. If hot water is already painful enough, I can't even imagine what it'd be like to swim in a place like this. Which of these stories was the most shocking to you? And what's the craziest thing you've seen in nature? Like always, let us know in the comment section down below. And with all that said and done, I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.